I think the, the country's moving in my direction, by the way. More people than ever are single, and more people than ever don't have a religion. Now, you may think that's a bad thing and why we're going to hell in a handcart, but maybe it's also part of the solution, and it's certainly just where people want to be. That's fake funny man and famous degenerate Bill Maher arguing that maybe it's a good thing to be alone and a slave to your vices. I mean, after all, what could possibly go wrong? Welcome to Nerk News, I'm Nerkish, and once again, the moral relativists on the left are using terms like good to describe rampant selfishness. What a shocker. Thankfully, we still have people with half a brain like Dr. Phil, who can point out the obvious. Well, I think we disagree a lot on is that you think family and faith are a big fix to the problems we have. I mean, some, I don't have a family, and I definitely don't have faith. <laughs> So I you're it. definitely not part of the solution. Maybe I am. No, you, uh, here's the thing. I, I'm just saying that you come from a family. I come from one, true. So don't tell me you don't. <laughs> yes. Don't tell me you don't have a family. Well, they're all gone now except my sister. Yes, but well, but so you got a okay, But I didn't start a, a new family, is what I'm saying. And I, I'm an atheist, so I don't have religion. And I. Yeah, Doctor Phil. Bill Maher doesn't have a family or religion, and he's just fine. Well, except for the fact that he's turned politics and science into his own personal religion. And of course, there's the issue of him needing a constant stream of drugs, alcohol, and prostitutes to distract from his own miserable existence. But besides that, he's totally fine. And I mean, sure, mental illness, drug use, and deaths from despair are on the rise. But according to Bill, that's what Americans want. Just let them have what they want, Dr. Phil. I, I mean, when you say religion is the fix to this, I didn't say have you that. seen the Middle East? I didn't say that. There, there well, yeah, you did in the book. No, I did not. What do you say about family and faith, not the fix? I, I said that for the first time in our country's history, membership in an organized religion has dropped below 50%. Now, here's, here's, here's why that's a problem. Here's okay. why that's a problem, because that was one of the reasons that families got together at least once a week and spent quality time together. The reason it's dropped below 50% is because the reason they usually joined the church was because they wanted to have their children christened or baptized or whatever the ceremony was in that particular church. And our birth rate has dropped to 1.6. We need 2.1 in order to sustain the infrastructure that we have. You know, the real problem with people like Bill Maher is they have no skin in the game and it completely taints their worldview because they sink lower and lower into hollow self-obsession. It's not enough to not have kids or be religious. They have to become fervently anti-child and anti-religion. Everybody hates kids. Well, they really look. do. They're feral, they're obnoxious, they're entitled. Nobody wants kids, or if I have one, I don't want another one. And what happens when you have an aging, childless, anti-religious population filling the country? Well, they vote for the things they care about. And what's number one on their list? Themselves. Because their interests end at the tip of their nose. It's the main reason they don't care about having future generations foot the bill for their benefits. It's why they're socialists. It's why they don't care about the effects of paying off student debt, increasing the minimum wage, giving universal basic income. I mean, who cares if the national debt is rising $1 trillion every 100 days? We'll all be dead before that matters, right? And it's that attitude that allows Bill to think and say things like this with a straight face. I feel like the bottom has to fall out at some point. And by the way, I'm hoping for it because I think one way you get rid of Trump is a crashing economy. Yeah. So please bring on the recession. Now I could go on rambling about how stupid Bill Maher is, but I'd rather share a clip of the late great Norm MacDonald who perfectly summarized Maher and his crappy worldview. Hey, you're not gonna believe this, but Bill Maher has given away the solution to all our problems <laughs> for free. <Wow. laughs> he is, isn't he? Yeah. I like Bill Maher when uh, all his problems are just his problems, so he's like, why are there kids around all the time and why can't we smoke? What about whores? <laughs> it's all just his stuff he wants. <laughs> Man, I miss that guy. But let me know what you think. Does Bill Maher have a point? Would America look better if everyone were a childless atheist? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nerk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!